Ever wondered about prophecies and predictions surrounding the arrival of the Jewish Messiah? Well, today's video will take us on an intriguing journey. According to ancient wisdom, a saying advises us to plant a sapling before rushing out to meet the Messiah. And now, breaking news has emerged. A prominent rabbi believes that former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will soon announce the long-awaited Jewish Messiah. Curious to know more? Let's dive into this video and explore the fascinating details. The Jewish Messianic Redemption refers to a future when a leader, a descendant of Kings David and Solomon, will bring about a new era. This leader, known as Moshiach, will restore the Davidic royal dynasty. Moshiach is considered exceptionally wise and a prophet on par with Moses. In the Messianic era, Moshiach had two roles, a compassionate ruler over all people, upholding the laws of the Torah, and a divine teacher revealing the profound depths of the Torah. Is Jesus a Jewish Messiah? Jesus was influenced by the traditions of Israel, although the exact nature of these traditions during his time in Galilee is unclear. He would have been familiar with the Jerusalem temple and likely participated in the major festivals there. He would have understood the rituals and their significance for forgiveness. Jesus and his family would have celebrated Passover, knowing its hopeful message of divine rescue. He probably knew about the Pharisees, who emphasized purity accessible to all Jews, not just temple officials. Jesus was familiar with Jewish scripture, as seen in his parables that drew on images from the scriptures. For example, he used the image of a mustard seed growing into a tree, possibly in a satirical way. His connection to scripture was complex but crucial in shaping him. Was Jesus Jewish? Jesus was undeniably a Jew. He was born to a Jewish mother in Galilee, a region with a Jewish population. All his companions, followers, and disciples were Jews too. He regularly attended Jewish gatherings known as synagogues and delivered teachings based on Jewish scripture, the Bible. Jesus actively participated in Jewish festivals and even made pilgrimages to the Jewish temple in Jerusalem, where priests held authority. It's evident in the Gospel texts that Jesus lived, taught, and died as a Jew. What stands out is that the Gospels never suggest otherwise. They don't imply that Jesus came to establish a new religion, a concept that only emerged later. It may seem obvious to state that Jesus was a Jew, but it needs to be emphasized due to the subsequent developments where Christianity diverged from Judaism. Looking back, Jesus is sometimes portrayed as the founder of Christianity, but it's important to remember that he was unquestionably a Jew. New Testament, Jesus rejected in Judaism. Jesus faced rejection as the Jewish Messiah in the New Testament. Most Jewish denominations consider him a false prophet and oppose worshiping any person as idolatry. However, some Messianic Jewish organizations argue that Jesus is the promised Messiah mentioned in Jewish scriptures. According to Jewish beliefs, Jesus did not fulfill the Messianic prophecies, such as bringing universal peace, constructing the Third Temple, and gathering all Jews back to Israel. Judaism denies claims of Jesus' divinity, his role as an intermediary between God and humans, or being part of a trinity. Jews believe the Messiah will be a descendant of King David through Solomon and born naturally to a husband and wife. Christianity's teachings about Jesus as the Son of God who died on the cross are seen as incompatible with Judaism and have introduced significant changes to Jewish concepts. For thousands of years, Jews have rejected that Jesus fulfilled messianic prophecies and dismissed dogmatic claims from early church leaders. Accepting Jesus as the Messiah usually leads to conversion to Christianity and identification as Christian rather than Jewish. Jewish rejection of Jesus is evident in the Birkat Hamanim prayer of the Amida and the Talmud, which condemn early Christian informers and heretics. The New Testament, particularly the Gospel of John, highlights Jewish rejection of Jesus, with accounts of attempts to kill him and accusations of being possessed. Such rejection is recorded in other parts of the Gospel as well. According to Jeremy Cohen, even before the Gospels were written, the Apostle Paul or one of his disciples portrayed the Jews as responsible for the death of Jesus. However, at that time, Paul and the evangelists did not condemn all Jews solely based on their Jewishness as murderers of God and the Messiah, but such condemnation would come later. Emil Fackenheim emphasized that, Except in relations with Christians, the Christ of Christianity is not a Jewish issue. There simply can be no dialogue worthy of the name unless Christians accept 
nay, treasure, that Jews, through the two millennia of Christianity, have had an agenda of their own. There can be no Jewish-Christian dialogue worthy of the name unless one Christian activity is abandoned, missions to the Jews. It must be abandoned, moreover, not as a temporary strategy, but in principle, as a bimillennial theological mistake. One hesitates to contemplate the cost of that mistake in Christian love and Jewish blood. Prediction by Yosef Berger. Israeli rabbi claims, star collision predicted by astronomers fulfills Balaam's messianic prophecy. An Israeli rabbi believes that an astronomical event predicted for 2022, where two stars collide to form a new star, matches a biblical prophecy about the coming of the Messiah. Rabbi Yosef Berger claims that this event fulfills the ancient sign mentioned in the prophecy of Balaam. Although the Jewish faith does not recognize Jesus as the Messiah, some Christians have interpreted this prediction as a sign of Jesus' second coming. According to Rabbi Berger, Balaam's prophecy and other Jewish mystical sources indicate that the arrival of the Messiah will be preceded by celestial signs involving multiple stars. Astronomers predict that a collision between two stars in the constellation of Cygnus, known as KIC 9832227, will generate a red nova explosion, making the binary star system 10,000 times brighter. This explosion will be visible in the night sky for up to six months. Lawrence Molnar, a professor of astronomy and physics, explains that the two stars in Cygnus have already collided and exploded, but the light from this event will be seen on Earth for the first time in 2022. This is not the birth of a star by normal means, he said in an interview with RT America. This starts with two already existing stars, and as they evolve over time, they come close to each other. They are so close they are touching each other. The new star forms when the two merge, he said. However, according to Rabbi Berger, an astronomical event is believed to fulfill an ancient prophecy in Numbers 24:17, which speaks of a celestial sign indicating the arrival of the Messiah. The verse states, I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not nigh. There shall step forth a star out of Yaakov, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite through the corners of Moab, and break down all the sons of Seth. Rabbi Berger referred to Rabbi Moses ben Maimon, Rambam, a renowned 12th century Torah scholar, who cited this verse as proof of the Messiah's future coming. He emphasized that the star mentioned in the prophecy would come from the tribe of Judah, specifically from the lineage of Jacob. The Zohar, a significant work of Jewish mysticism, was also mentioned by Rabbi Berger. It provides details about the appearance and characteristics of the stars that will manifest before the Messiah's arrival. According to him, the Zohar states explicitly that the messianic process will be accompanied by several stars appearing. The Zohar goes into great depth, describing how many stars and which colors they will be. Rabbi Berger's prediction has generated excitement among Jewish and Christian messianic circles. Some Christians who believe in Jesus as the Messiah interpret his prophecy as referring to the second coming of Jesus. However, skeptics voiced their doubts, pointing out the long history of failed messianic predictions. Amateur astronomer Ira Makevsky emphasized the role of astronomy and astrology in Jewish mysticism, viewing celestial phenomena as manifestations of God's intellect. Astronomers, too, expressed enthusiasm for the predicted Red Nova explosion, considering it an unprecedented opportunity to witness a Nova's birth. Matt Walhout, a dean at Calvin College, highlighted the significance of this event by stating that if the prediction proves accurate, parents will be able to point to a dark spot in the sky and explain to their children that a star is about to ignite, a first-time occurrence in human history. So, how are we to identify the Moshiach? According to Maimonides, the identification of the Moshiach does not rely on miraculous acts. Instead, the criteria for recognizing the Moshiach are as follows. A. A Jewish leader deeply committed to Torah study and observance of mitzvot. B. One who inspires others to follow the ways of Torah. And C. Someone who actively works for the cause of G.D. If this individual successfully fulfills these criteria, rebuilds the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, and facilitates the gathering of Jews in Israel, then he is undoubtedly the Moshiach. What do you think of this revelation? Comment below your views about the Jewish Messiah and subscribe for more.